Hello, my dear creative, Selga Sarakina here. I'm working now on an interior sketch in Procreate. It is a commission for an interior designer. This is my line drawing that I created in Procreate. And now I want to see what color options Midjourney can give me. So let me show you in this mini tutorial how to quickly turn this liner sketch into colorful variations. We are now in the main menu of Midjourney. I go straight into Edit. Then I choose Edit New Image. Then I go to Retexture because I want the sketch to be colored. Next, I click on Edit Uploaded Image and upload my line sketch that I made in Procreate. Then let's click into Settings. This is the little cursor icon. And my favorite tool here is Stylization in Aesthetics. So I usually set it to around 500, right in the middle. You can go lower like 100 or higher like 1000. The higher you set it, the more detailed and classic the drawing will look in my opinion. You can see I wrote a simple prompt. Midjourney is very sensitive, so the way you write it matters most. I start with what I want to see. For example, here, architectural drawing of a living room in one point perspective. Then I add the technique, Copic marker drawing. You can go into lots of detail, but here I'll just show the basics. You can see that just in a few seconds, Mijoni gave me these bright, fun variations. I want to be more specific on the color palette, so let me write in beige and gray color palette. So let's see how it will generate images based on that. And I'll use here Copic Marker Quick Sketch because these first variations, uh, they looked more like watercolor than markers to me. Ta-da! This very special moment of waiting. Oh, oh wow! It made my walls made in stone. <laughs> okay, these variations are really fun, but it's not exactly what I want. But Again, as a quick option, especially if you're an interior designer and want to show a client the very, very first ideas in color, I think it's an amazing quick option. Okay, I can see me joining these options. Okay, uh, in this case, I will still paint the final version myself in Procreate, but it's just because I already know the exact materials um, and shades. And Mijoni was just a fun way to test ideas. And well, here is one more. Again, it looks more like watercolor to me. If you'd like to see my final hand colored sketch, which I did in Procreate, check the link below to my newsletter. I will share it with you there.